Hello everybody, my name is Kilad, back with the finale of the Chopper with Every Gun Show series. This time I'm going to be covering the pistols in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reflex. And in this game in particular, I really like the pistols because there weren't any crazy attachments that you could use with the pistols like akimbo or extended mags or anything like that. The only thing you could use with the pistol is a silencer. And it really felt good because these pistols felt like sidekicks, really good sidekicks for you just in case if your primary ran out of bullets, you could quickly swip out to your pistol and finish the opponent off and that's why I like these pistols in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reflex. As usual here are the rules of the Chopper 3 Gun Show series and we're going to start with the first pistol right now. The first pistol we're going to be talking about is the M9 and I like this pistol a lot because it has the highest capacity of all the pistols in the game with 15 rounds in its magazine which makes it really good unfortunately though it doesn't really have that much power because the damage drop off is actually pretty close so you can't really shoot things very far away without having to plug a bunch of bullets into the opponent. So that's the really, you know, I guess a downfall of it. But the good thing about it is that it's very spammable. The recoil is almost non-existent. The tip only, you know, juts up a little bit. But all in all, it's a very good pistol and it's very skinny. So you can have a lot of peripheral revision around the opponent, which is very good. And the also uh, kind of unique thing about this pistol, if you guys didn't know already, a lot of people do know this, however, is that in COD 4 there is ammo sharing, which means that you can transfer the ammo from the M9 to submachine guns like the MP5 and the Mini Uzi and you can actually gain extra magazines for those primary weapons without having to use bandolier. So that's what was like a popular strategy in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reflex. And that makes this pistol kind of a utility pistol. Even though you don't like this pistol, you can use it for good. The M9 all in all is a very good pistol, very spammable, very easy to use, and it is a good pistol, a worthy pistol for a beginning pistol in Modern Warfare Reflex. The next pistol we're going to be talking about is the USP-45 and this pistol is actually very popular among Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reflex players because it actually has a lot of ammo. It has 12 ammo which is not that bad. It's only 3 less than the M9 but the biggest perk about this pistol is its range. It has a lot of range over the M9 and that's why I think people like this pistol over the M9 a lot because it doesn't have that quick drop off that the M9 has. And also too the kind of, I don't know, unique thing about this pistol is its recoil. The recoil is actually... Um, I guess visual recoil, almost like, you know, the Deagle and like the Python from Black Ops. It has a lot of visual recoil, but it actually settles very, very fast. So it seems like it doesn't have any recoil at all. And a lot of players do like that clack, clack, clack signature sound of the USP. It feels really good. And I like it as well. I do really like that aspect of the USP. And especially with stopping power too, it's a quick two bullets and the opponent is down. So this pistol all in all is very good. And I understand why people like this pistol a lot as a starting pistol to use in a Call of Duty Modern Warfare reflex. The next pistol in line is the M1911 and this is a very I guess iconic weapon in the Call of Duty series. I think it's been featured in almost all of them, almost all of them seriously, a great majority of Call of Duty games including this one obviously but in terms of the multiplayer statistics and how the weapon performs in multiplayer it's kind of a I don't know, it's kind of a weird weapon because of its statistics and what it brings to the table. It has eight bullets only, which is kind of weird because the Deagle has seven bullets. Okay, one less bullet, but the Deagle is actually more powerful than the M9. And then there's a capacity issue, obviously, because the USP is much better with more ammo as well as the M9. So it's kind of a weird weapon. I don't know if, um, you know, people actually use it or not. I usually just use it and slap it on just because I want to use the M1911. Um, but in terms of statistics, it's kind of weird. It's kind of like the Makarov from Black Ops. The Makarov was kind of like that middle kind of weirdish pistol. It was kind of always lesser than the M1911 in that game and then like the CZ-75 or whatever. So the M1911 is, you know, it looks different. It's kind of a weird gun. It doesn't really have any kind of, um, I guess good thing about it. I don't know. It's kind of outclassed by the other pistols. However, it's still a very iconic pistol in Call of Duty so I guess that's why it always sees kind of a recurring appearance in all the games. I'm not sure if it appears in Modern Warfare 3. Maybe it's a little outdated for that game. But nonetheless, for this game, it's just, you know, kind of that iconic weapon and I guess it deserves its stay here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reflex. 
All right, down to the Deagle, finally. A very good weapon. Everybody knows the Deagle, and it was very good in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reflex as opposed to Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 because of the recoil, man. It was only visual recoil, but you could spam this weapon at one spot and actually kill the opponent most of the time. So it was very good in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reflex and a really powerful and popular pistol to use. That's why I like it a lot. It goes uh, really well with pretty much any weapon, but the good perk about this is, though, is that you don't need stopping power for that two-bullet kill. So I always kind of pair this weapon with weapons that really didn't need stopping power like the M14 and you know the shotguns and all that stuff so that's why the Deagle was really good for that aspect in terms of you know choosing it over other pistols but other than that the Deagle has always been it's, it's almost like an iconic weapon too if you think about it in Call of Duty it's been in every modern warfare game and it's also been really popular but I don't really know why in the future games that they have nerfed it um, it, it, it just like you know boggles my mind they kind of prefer like the uh, revolvers they want to make the revolvers like those uh, visual recoil kind of guns that are very good with low recoil but they kind of like throw the deagle in the dust for some reason I don't know why I mean everybody likes it and they want everybody seems like they want the old deagle back the COD 4 deagle back in you know the next games of Call of Duty which is kind of you know I don't know you know why they choose to do that but I guess it's you know just you know whatever whatever their weird thinking is but all in all in this game we can talk about this game obviously all in all in this game it's a very good pistol to use and a lot of people like to use it and that is it that is every single gun in the chopper with every gun show series this series has finally come to a close and next friday is going to be a start of a new series i don't want to tell you guys exactly what it is kind of keep it suspenseful but i hope you guys like this kind of content that i'm bringing you and i hope you guys stick around anyways my name is kid lot and until next time peace guys see you later and have a good day